This week, residents of the disputed Hebron House, referred to as the Machpelah House, were evicted by Israeli forces in a surprising move by Defense Minister Ehud Barak, who made the call. The other day, special police forces appeared at the Machpelah House, finding children there, who certainly did not expect their arrival, despite the fact that the story did receive much media attention over the last few days. The Jewish settlers claimed the house was purchased legally from its Palestinian owners, but have yet to prove that to the courts. Even though the evacuation was set to be executed by the end of this month, it appears Barak did not want to wait, fearing this house would become a visitor attraction for many Israelis from across the country over this week's Jewish Passover holiday. This latest eviction stirred many emotions in the government, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu did not halt the removal of the family from the house, despite several requests for the authorities to deal with this matter following the holiday. While Barack stated that the law must be abided, Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman showed disappointment with Netanyahu, threatening that such acts may result in shaking up the government's coalition. In the meantime, settlers fear that Bet El's Ulpana neighborhood will be the next one up for evacuation, as the High Court of Justice set May 1st as the eviction date. Many Israelis supporting the settlers in these neighborhoods, among others, fear that Netanyahu is capable of just about anything after this past eviction. However, they do seem certain that should additional evacuations take place, Netanyahu's government will fall apart something the Prime Minister is bound to avoid. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.